Hi, Mark Savage here. Welcome to my channel. Today's video, plugs, HDI light. Let's have a quick look around this, then we'll get on to the video. We have a 2011 GS1200. Nice couple of videos already. But, you know, from the side, you couldn't tell really what year it was. It's only the front headlight, which I've upgraded on this one anyway now to HRD. And the dash is the old style dash. Still, a lovely looking bike. A seven year old bike, can't knock it. Lovely and clean, a few drips, I've just washed it. Don't mind the exhaust, as I've got my usual thud deep noise, but it means I can start outside my house and neighbours don't moan about me. And there we go. Let's get on with the video. Hi, Mark Savage here, welcome to my channel. Back with the gloves on and a cup of tea. Watch this have a little clip now. I finally got the GS911 working. It feels odd not having blue gloves on, and it feels odd not having tools in my hand. Today, we're looking at the GS911. Does sound like a Porsche. This is a diagnostics tool, reset tool for the BMW GS1200. After a lot of messing around, I managed to get it loaded on my laptop. Laptop was Vista, my home computer was Windows 10 and it just wasn't doing what it should have been doing. I had to go to work, get them to load it on there, then download all the bits and then give a certification for it and eventually, hey presto, it's on my computer. Look at that. And here we have my model, there. So, I do feel a bit odd, but anyway, let's get on with this. So, here's the little gadget, let's put it there for the minute. Right, so we take off the first seat and we take off the second one. I do have a few wires under here already, as you can see. What we're looking at today is this bit here. So we undo this little bit here, take the little bit off, and here's the connector. Which this little baby goes into. So, let's connect it, shall we? And just in. Plugged in. Let's go on the laptop now, shall we? This does feel strange. Go across to my model. Switch ignition on. Follow instructions. Seems easy enough. Ignition on. Bloody light bulb. <laughs> Recently, guys, you might have noticed that I uh, changed the light, and today, bloody planes again. Um, it didn't work. Main bulb didn't work. So in here somewhere, to um, convert another one instead. Let's see what this says. So ignition on, press. Okay, definitely on. While it will. Engine, anti-lock braking system, instrument cluster, anti-theft fitted, tire pressure monitor if fitted, specifications, coding. I think we want a instrument cluster. We want to reset. So, click. ECU, clear faults. Is there any faults on there? <laughs> bus timeout with engine. The fault is not present now. Canvas backup vehicle mileage. The fault is not present now. So, it had some issues, but they've all been cleared. So let's clear faults. Yes. If we have any more faults, we'd be able to find them, wouldn't we? To find somewhere it said reset for uh, service but uh, let's try engine ECU really any faults timeout no communication convincement the fault is not present now fault occurred twice you get the hint it's no longer a man with tools um, even some with glasses I've noticed my eyes have gone funny lately so I have got this connected I need to reset the service light. I need to find that first. But that's the basics. I suppose that's what it's coming to. So I guess what I'm really trying to say is that this sort of electrics for these sort of bikes, this is the other side of it, the technical side of it, which I'm not used to doing. But I'm going to get on with this and hopefully in a minute I'll be able to show you the reset. As you can see, didn't go quite to plan. A bit complicated, as you can see. I didn't actually get to reset the service light because it was a little bit more in depth. I'm not used to it, to be honest with you. I mean, I use a computer every day at work, but it's not when I work on a bike. 
brilliant if this had a, an actual issue wrong with it. And this is what I say in my ped videos. Um, I get a lot of people ask me now, Mark, I've watched a video, uh, mainly ped videos. Um, I've watched a video, I've cleaned the carburetor, it's still not working, what is it? Or I've done your variator, I've um, changed the variator and it's banging around. It's, what is it? You bike into a motorbike shop and they said 200 pounds of labor and you go, that's far too much. Just only got a little rattle or I didn't just start. The reason being is that they can fix one thing and it causes another problem and you have to fix two things or they fix it take it off put it back on again take it off put it back on again and that's what you guys have got to do when it comes to the peds don't just think because you took it off and cleaned it and put it back on again that it might have fixed it it might not there still might be grit somewhere the float now may be leaking you may cause another problem and it costs you more money and this is what happens i've got a video on here 10 top tips you know have the right tools the right mindset you need to consider when working on a bike that you may not actually fix it you could make it worse i know some of you guys message me an awful lot and i do mean a lot some of the ped guys god you know it's like one after another after another and of course i have a life i may be in here my phone's going i'm not answering it so i apologize i'll get to you when i do but you have to have in your mindset you may not be able to fix this carburetors and, and the little peds are funny little things now what i'm gonna wear i'm, I'm rabbiting on this bike here, on my last video, I did an upgrade for the headlight. BMW, I did a few things. I did a service and upgraded to a HID Exxon headlight. Or Xeon, these things. I had a few already. I find a lot of these ones, though, do exactly what this one's doing. Um, he gave me here a HID upgrade. Um, one side I see a splitting, and this one, last night, coming home about 11 o'clock, no light. It's like, really? Pulled over, turned it on, turned it off, turned it on, turned it off, and so on. Wouldn't come all at all. Luckily, I had fitted these. So I turned them on, and I got home with a little bit of high beam. But this bulb here didn't work at all. That was a bit annoying. Turned on this morning, bink, came on. <laughs> you did say it did that occasionally, but last night it wouldn't come on at all. So I'm going to be changing the bulb for one of these and changing, I said this before, blast pack, blaster pack, I don't know, one of these. I'm gonna completely change it and see how it goes. I may have to change it again and again and again until I get the right mix of which one, if it's this that's blowing all the time or shorting out, or the bulb with the gases or whatever going. Something you have to consider when starting working on your bike. Also, as something may be aware, I uh, left the disc lock on and I dropped the bike. A little bit of damage here, not major. However, I've been thinking for a while, since I did the last service, took this off, and the plug's here, and the plug's in here as well. When we first started to ride it, I felt a faint smell of burning. It feels a little bit lumpy when I give it some. It just feels like maybe a spark's not sparking as it should. So I'm gonna take all of these off again and check them and make sure they're all right. Easy way to take the plug out, I'll see if it's black or whatever colour it is, I'll know if it's burning and I'll be happy. But again, you know, it's not just job done sometimes, you have to go back over it. Now Steve, Derv man, give me one of these. This is a lifesaver. I'll tell you why. HT lead. Now, I did on this one, simply just pull it out here. But this one's a bugger. And you sort of have to leave a screwdriver underneath and, and not crack this little bit here which can happen so what does this little gadget do when the plugs in it just simply slots down and you can pull it out of your fingers how much easier so we're going to be doing that well i am taking all four off having for them then i'm going to change the headlight then i'm going to be taking this headlight bulb out and the pack there and the pack here take it all off and replace let's get on with it Always fun mechanics. So, oh, taking the side off, dropping the bottom plug here, and using the little tool here, got the two plugs there. How's this odd? That is a spark plug. It's been in there, done a thousand miles. I'm actually quite happy with that. Look at that one. It looks brand new. Looks like it hasn't done a thousand miles at all. Put them two together. Can you see, this one here looks like it hasn't fired, done anything, and this one looks like it's been firing normally. It's strange. I'm going to take the other side out now and have a look. It was fitted correctly, this was plugged in, didn't forget that. 
that was plugged in all okay there did get burning as much as I said but I can't see anything wrong with the system here at all really strange let's get the other side off and have a look now of course remembering that I fell on this side this is slightly out of shape Send them over our bloody house. Anyway, there's that, there's that. I will use this to break them first, and then that to finish it off. It's just too hard to get a bit of a grip on. The short stubby screwdriver to pop this little clip out. I'm sure, it's a better way of doing it, but that's how I do it. I think when I was riding, maybe I'd put this to the engine. It's got some previous damage to it, but I thought maybe I'd damaged it myself. Anyway, first, squeeze your gadget down. God, that's bloody hard to do. Thank God for that. And wrong then. Immaculately clean. So, there we go. Four plugs. Two inside ones are both dirty and they're from the bottom. And two outside ones really clean <laughs> I, don't know. I expected them all to be the same the two outside ones look like they haven't even been burned and they're brand spanking new so learn something new every day I suppose they're perfect burning maybe the outside ones don't come in all the time and don't run all the time until you floor it I'm not sure I'm really not sure um, it starts it runs it was just me I'm happier that I've taken them off I'm going to put them all back in, double check I put the connectors back on properly and I'll get on with the light. I don't know it all, I don't pretend to know it all. I'm not a qualified BMW mechanic, I've only been doing, playing with bikes and cars for 20 years. You learn something new every day and there you go. That has got a little bit more burn than this one, that really does look brand new. Look, do you know, it's got a little bit of burn on it, that's got more, that's got more, that looks brand new. So I'm going to clean these two inside ones up a little bit, not too hard because I don't want to damage anything. Put them all back in and it runs, it starts, it stops. The diagnostics machine, um, I did get working as you see in a little clip, but um didn't really say much. It said about the lamp being out and faults that had already been reset. I think if it was not running properly, it would have said and it really would be hard to start and so on. So maybe it's just me getting used to it, doubting my own work maybe. Pop these back in, let's get on with the light. Just a quick one, it's 14 mil, not 16. Really are tiny plugs. You're waiting for that click noise where this has to go over the plug. With a tight squeeze. Hopefully you heard that click noise. Don't forget to connect it back up again. So much easier about the ratchet. Just the last quarter turn. It's gonna be a bugger. Start at the bottom one, that one, then that one. You drop them down otherwise. If you haven't got engine guards, you don't have to worry about this. I should just get engine guards. I could have taken the light out, decided to cheat and just take this little bit out here. Um, we're gonna do the bulb first. Do I take all my bloody good? I just gotta clip off all my cable ties. Okay, you know I hate cable ties, but they are handy sometimes. Pack that back up and undo this. So it's running. Sounds alright. And I wanted to test it. Couldn't make it all tidy yet, but it worked. I just wanted to see if it worked in there again. 
So we're going to try this, and if this fails again, then I'm going to that stuck it down there very nicely. I'll change that. That is the only way to do electric diagnostics. Change it, change it, change it until it works. You, you'll never know. Um, I just think it could be the bulb, because he said that when he changed the ballast packs over, that it followed the same bulb really. So let's give this a go. Turn it on again, see if it works. Give it a go. Luckily, as I said, <coughs> I have these just in case. Pull it back together. So the next thing, if it doesn't work, try one of these. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. It was just a short video today, maybe a bit longer than I wanted it to be, just to say that, as I said, you don't always get it right. You may have to take it off, put it back on, take it off, put it back on, the same part. Nothing to say, this is broken. Well, that one's broken. Well, the bulb might be, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, you take care of yourselves on the road.